Hey guys, Mr. Malego. Alright, this week we're going to be learning how to draw the like lower extremity area and the legs and how they relate to the body. So we're going to start things off by doing the upside down egg for the head. Again, you want to go, you want to make sure that it's longer, more than wider. Uh, something I noticed that I had seen with a lot of my students is a lot of you guys are making the head a little too wide. Make sure, you know, it's got a nice egg shape to it. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the shoulders. Let's throw the shoulders in there and you'll notice that I'm just doing overall shapes, basic shapes for time's sake. Okay, so if you break it down into shapes first, you can come in with the smaller details later on. And hopefully this eraser works this week so I can show you a couple other things that I didn't get to last week. So let's throw some ears on there. Let's throw a neck on our character. Okay, so for the for the what I'd like to call the uh, extremities or the uh, cash and prizes area. You want to let it, the basic shape of that, overlap the lower torso area. Because um, you're really looking for this shape here. The rest of it's just not really needed. So from there, we're going we're gonna to make it look like a little pair of underwear. Um, by putting the same type of circles here, but in the opposite direction on the inside of that circle. Now if you need to, go ahead and pause the video to get yourself all caught up. Okay, I'm gonna assume that you're done pausing the video and you've got, got yourself caught up to where I am. And if so, that's awesome. If not, go back and pause it and make sure you get yourself caught up to where we are. Now the thing to keep in mind is this area is really tricky. Um, it's really tricky because when you go to draw it, you're not really thinking of the bones. I want you to think of like the bones and the skeleton that are there. And think about the hip itself. It, it's a, if you look it up, it's a, it's a bone that kind of juts out like this out of your pelvis and then goes down. When you get a hip replacement, like when you're old and your hip starts wearing down, when you get a hip replacement, that surgeon cuts here and then rips this out of your uh, rips this out of your pelvis and replaces it with a machine one that looks sort of like this. And there's like a large metal spike, and then you just kind of jab it back into your leg. Uh, it, uh, that I don't mean to be morbid, but I want you to understand that shape because that shape's really important. So we're gonna do circles here that represent that where the leg bone connects into the pelvis. And if you want to do a little line, that's fine, but you don't have to. All right, let me lower this just a smidge. Okay, so from there, we're gonna go in from the outside of the shape. And I'm not gonna show you the feet today because we're gonna take a whole day for the feet and for the hands. I wanna make sure that you guys totally understand how to draw hands and how to draw feet at different angles. So we're going, we're starting from the out, outside going in, again, to try to replicate this shape of the, of the bone. So go ahead and pause the video Okay, I'm gonna assume you're done getting caught up. All right, so on the inside, we're gonna put our kneecaps. This curve also kind of follows the muscle line in that leg when we actually go to pipe it off and do the shape here. Then from here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go out, going in. And again, I'm not gonna show you the feet today. We might do the tops of the feet. But here we go, we've got our legs. Now you may be looking at this wondering, well, 
you know, Mr. Malego, this doesn't make any sense. Um, this doesn't look like legs. Our legs aren't designed like that. Yeah, I know. Um, the idea is, is when you pipe them off, it's to give your figure some weight. And I may have made these a little too long. We'll see when we connect it. So we want to go from the outside here of these ovals and bring them down into the knee. So outside of the ovals, bring them down to the knee. Outside, bring them down into the knee. This outer muscle right here actually goes lower. It sits lower than the inner leg muscle. So you can see I've not done that here, so I need to go back. Let me erase. And bring that down a little bit. Okay. So that looks pretty good. All right, so pause the video, get yourself caught up. Okay, hopefully you're all caught up. Now we're gonna come down here and I want you to understand that there's a, a, the lower leg from the knee down is kind of a strange shape. It's like a cone, okay? So it's like a cone, like an ice cream cone with the bottom sawed off if we're looking at it straight on. Um, there's a lot of, lot of things going on in the lower leg, but to simplify it, it's, it's much like this. So we're, we're looking straight on at our character, so we're not really gonna see this top part. So I'm gonna go down and bring it in. I'm gonna bring it in drastically. And do the same thing over here. Go down, bring it in, down, bring it in. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so now we've got like the basic shape and piping done. Uh, let me go back here. Let's adjust the middle of the face because the middle of the face is right. It's like right here. So let me go in and erase. So now's the time where we take the time and get ourselves caught up doing some of the minor details all the way down to the legs. So here we go. Let's, let's do that muscle stuff that we've learned before. And remember, you're going to be doing this whole process that I'm doing right here. We're going to be doing that three times. Why three times, you ask? To train, to make yourself better. By the end of the three times, you'll be four, far more competent than you were that first time. Okay, look at that. Getting the torso in there. All right, let's get the abdominal region. Okay, very good. See I'm putting lines in here, connecting them in. You'll see me erase the lines I don't need later on. Again, these are important to have in there because we want to understand the relationship and how things are all one when it comes to drawing the body. You will know when these lines are looking really good when you have a continuous line that goes from the armpit that follows down into the nether regions. Okay, so there should be like a continuous line that follows down. That's also why I had you guys do this last time, was I wanted you to see that relationship, how it leads down into the cash and prizes area. All right, so we don't need a lot of those lines, so I'm going to go ahead and erase what I don't need. Oof, this eraser is not the best. All right, so let's just go in here and kind of woo, 
reestablish some lines. Broke my pencil lead there. All right, that looks pretty good. So there is a line that kind of goes in from the groin out to the leg. It's a whole muscle right here in a group of muscles that then wrap around the knee. All right, so there's a whole group of muscles that wrap around the knee here. So let's go ahead, get those lines in there and then erase what you don't need. pencil lead likes to come out. I honestly am not... Oh, broke another one. You can tell I'm a heavy-handed artist. I'm going to shade in the underside of our kneecap here. Over here. Let's erase what we don't need. So this is all connected. Shading in the underside of my kneecap, bringing it up and over. And I think I probably made the hips a little too wide here. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make that adjustment. Again, when you're drawing the human body, it's it's really just adjusting where you need to adjust. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's give him some shorts because that's just awkward. All right. Now we come down here, there's uh, there's like a bone that follows down through the front. So we're going to round off this top, we're going to add some muscle to the top, follow that down, erase what we don't need, and go from there. Okay. Try to get your curves matching as best as you can. Go back, make adjustments. Don't be afraid to change things. For me, this is a little awkward to draw because I'm usu usually drawing people not just standing facing towards you. I'm usually drawing them doing something. So it's a little awkward. Um, but again, it's good practice to understand where things are. So you can see like I have lines that like leave the impression that muscle is there. I'm not actually like drawing every single muscle. Now, something I didn't touch on last week was the shading. How do I shade this and make this look good for the lower male torso? And how do I shade the legs? So we're gonna do a little bit of that this week. Again, imagining that the lines are the lines are there and the light is going downward onto our figure. So I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna start adding things like my face. Okay. Let's do chin down, eyes up. Let's give him some eyebrows. square off his jaw and make him look really kind of beefy. Okay, got the jaw squared off. Let's get the detail on the ears. 
And again, I'm kind of rushing through this, but feel free to pause the video at any time to get yourself caught up to where I am. I'm just adding the muscle and let me do the shading that we've already learned. We already learned the shading of the face. We learn where those shadows are gonna be. I'm gonna start adding those shadows there. Here's my shadow in the neck. side of the pecs. I forgot to finish up the shoulder. So let me finish that up. All right, so it should be roughly where you were last time with shading. So we got to think, all right, the the pecs actually pop out from the body, so they're going to be casting a bit of a shadow on the underside here. So I'm going to put that shadow in. The lower part of the abs, they're going to be casting a shadow, so let me put that shadow in. Okay, do that for every ab. Those ridges, I'm just gonna, for that side muscle, I'm just gonna add some shadows there, just to kind of beef them up a little bit. Following where those lines were that I erased before. Now that we've erased them, we can come in and know exactly and precisely where we wanna put our shadows at. Because those lines are now, those lines are now a guide for us. kind of neat. Again, everything is related. It's intertwined. Okay, so cool. He's looking pretty jacked. Let's darken up some lines in here, just so it's a little easier to see on camera. Now, with uh, this area, <laughs> this juts out and then goes, goes in, so we're actually going to put some heavy shadow here. Um, we won't go into too much detail with that. <laughs> uh, it's awkward for me. Uh, so I'm going to come in. Let's let's go ahead and shade in the lower part of the torso here. You got to think this all kind of goes in, and no light since light is headed downward on our figure no light is going to be hitting it at all so we're just adding that shadow in there all right so this is gonna this is popping out just a little bit so we're gonna add a little bit of shadow in there tuck it around because this is bending inward all right Add a little bit of shadow in there. This is bending inward. All right, so now we've got some shadows going all the way through. Again, feel free to stop at any time in this video. Get yourself caught up. I know I'm working kind of fast, but I don't want to hold you up too much because I want you to draw along with me, and I know it's a little bit boring to hear me talk and ramble for so long. Okay, so the bottom part of the leg here, this bends in quite a bit and then comes out to where the knee is. So we're going to add quite a bit here and then maybe a little bit on the inner leg. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, there we go. So we've got the full body. Well, not the full body, but almost the full body drawn and shaded in. It's a little daunting. 
but something to check to make sure everything's in proportion if you cut off the waist okay and you bring it up it should be pretty much the same size at the waist so this top half should be equal to the bottom half all right when we go to next week when we go to draw our arms you'll notice that our hands will go down to here to mid thigh and we'll continue on from there so again assignment for this week don't forget guys you're gonna be doing this entire process that we just did together three times all right why do we have to do it three times because you need to train in it you're not gonna be good at doing it or proficient at drawing the male body unless you do it over and over and over again so by now if you're doing everything properly you should be really good at drawing the face you should be pretty good at drawing the upper male torso you should be okay at drawing the lower male torso and you, the legs and cash prizes area should be a little uh, you should be pretty wonky at because you're not you haven't drawn it so many times so keep this up um, don't give up guys stick with it don't be afraid to erase if something is looking bad and I hope to see your work turned in this week again if you don't like the format of this video since we've changed it I had quite a few people that do like me doing this live um, but if you don't like the format of this please let me know uh, message me I can go back to the old ways but it looks like the majority of people actually like me drawing like this so um, enjoy I'll hear from you guys uh, this week and thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys all get those grades up and I can't wait to see these bye for now